On the popularity of my video on the Spider Holster clip right here, I'm going to be doing an unboxing review and a demonstration of the Spider Holster belt right here. Let's get straight into the video. All right, so this is the unboxing for the Spider dual camera system for mirrorless cameras. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So this is what is included in the package. You guys can see that. You can pause the video at any time. Good. Let's look at the back. Good. And look at the other side, and this is how the attachment goes for the camera. Got that. All right. So let's get inside this box. Let me grab my knife real quick. Let's pull these items out. So there's the belt. And this is the attachment for the second camera. Then you have the, the underneath for the camera, instruction manual. And then if you're gonna be using a telephoto lens with your, which you wanna put on the holster, you can actually attach this there. Let me take it out. So I'm just gonna line it up so you guys can actually see. All right, so this is everything outside the, uh, the back, the, the packaging. This is everything here. So this is the belt for the solo. So this is when you just want to use just one camera. So you have the option for that. But if you're someone like myself who uses two camera, you do have this system. All right. So as you can see here is how much, so this is the version two of the spider holster. Hold on one second. So as you guys know, if you guys have been a part of my, my channel, you know, you'll realize that I have these from before. These are the plastic versions. And now if you look, if I should compare, the difference between the two, you can see how much well-built this is versus this right here. This is still a good system because I'm still using this. I've used this on many engagement shoots. But the reason I actually got this is because I'm thinking that over time, because it's plastic, there might be some wear. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes on to the, the thing right here. I'm still definitely going to be using it, but I'm just saying that's one of the reasons why. But also, I have the, the option with the belt where I can adjust the height. Because for me, I really love how it's on my belt, but sometimes if I'm working, wearing certain shirts, it's definitely going to kind of get into the way. So I, that's one of the reasons why I actually purchased this, just to see what it's like. And actually, to help you guys to make a decision whether you want to do the same thing like me or not. All right, so like I said, this is everything inside of the packaging. So what I wanna do now is I want to go ahead and put this all together. Give me a moment. All right, so now that all the packaging uh, is outside the box, what I'm gonna try and do now is make an adjustment for the belt with my waist. All right, let's go. So let's just do our initial without doing any kind of measurements and see if it fits. So right away, it fits nicely. Good, and I can actually put my shirt over, but I think I want to loosen it to make it drop a little bit lower below my belt, as you guys can see right there. All right, so I'm gonna do just that. So the one thing I notice now is if you look at the front here, if I press this, it is not going to just release like that. You have to then press this right here, and then it releases. So that's actually an added uh, form of security for you without releasing the belt. So let me guys show you guys up front. So if you look at that right there, when you press this right here, then you go, you have to also press this here to release it and then, so I really love that. So that's an added um, form of uh, security. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make an adjustment just to make it a little bit uh, looser so it can go around my waist a little bit lower below my belt. All right, so I'll be right back with you guys. Let's try one more time and see. And I'm definitely liking that. And the one thing too for me guys is I really, I, necessarily, I don't necessarily want to have it where it's going to be on the exact side of my waist. I want it to be a little bit back. So I'm kind of liking how this is right here. All right. And you can see that. One second. What I'm going to do is I'll put it on. But what, what I'm also going to do after this, guys, is show you guys some options. Because based on my video before, there's a few persons that's actually were asking me questions based on how the orientation of the camera was. And I have a solution for you guys. So I'm just gonna put it on both camera, on, 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 on my belt. So now it's attached to the camera like so, and I can easily just slide it in. And my camera is on my belt, just like that. 
and I'm liking it. I'm liking it more because I really want it to be a little bit more to the back. So that's how I'm going to also attach this section right here a little bit more to the back rather than having it on the side. Because the, one of the concerns that a lot of people have been asking me is, how will it be if I'm walking through a crowd of people and the camera is hanging at my side? And this is one of the solutions that I found while I was wearing the clips on my belt, is that I kind of put the camera a little bit to the rear, not all the way back, but a little bit to the rear and to the side. And that way, I, I know that walking through a crowd, I, and I also have my hands kind of hanging here. And if I need to do this, I can also still kind of do that. So I have that option. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the other camera as well, but I'm also gonna set up my, I wanna find out where on the belt that I wanna put this right here. So I think I'm gonna put it around here, but the one thing I kind of enjoy too, with this belt, it has a padding. So let me take this out, like so. Take this off. So if you look at these guys right here, you will notice that there's this padding section right here, which I really like. And under the padding now, this right here is all Velcro. This is just Velcro. So this is where you're gonna do the attachments. So if you notice here, on this other piece here for the second camera, you're gonna see Velcro here and here, but you also have it here and here, all right? So this is how you're gonna attach it to the belt. So because before you had to use screws, you no longer have to do that, all right? So let me just open it up and get it situated. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I have found my perfect measurement, so now, you will see that there's a little opening right here inside the Velcro area. So what you do is you initially, what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide this right through first. So once you slide it through like so, as you can see right here, the Velcros are outside. All you do, you lift the flap area. So once you lift the flap area with the Velcro, you just slide it under. Cause this is really just an extra layer of security, in my opinion, like so. And then you just do the same thing for the other side. So as you can see that the belt is under there, All right? Kind of hold it upside down, but as you can see it's right there. And then I'm just gonna slide the other one underneath as well. So now the belt is, is secured right there and I'm just gonna put it on. Pull my shirt over. Okay, this is how I would that normally, I would definitely use it. Because as you notice, my belt is here, but the clip is all the way here, which I like. Look on the other side, same thing. And it's nice and snug on my waist. It's not going anywhere. And you can see that right there. And all I'm gonna do now, put a camera in. Put a camera in. So now, one of the concerns that one of you guys had left in a comment is the orientation of the camera, which I definitely understand. I do have a solution for that, so I'm gonna show you guys right now. This here is just a single pin that you can actually get. I'm gonna have links in the description below, guys, for both the holster and this, but I'll have it. This here is going to be replacing, take this out, is going to be replacing this big guy right here. All right, so I'm going to take this off totally. All right, and let me just remove it right now. And now I'm going to put this here. I'm going to tighten it. So there's a little hole that is inside there that you can see. And all I'm going to do is just slide it inside the hole and I'm just going to tighten. So now I can have the belt and put it down and my camera is like that. Okay, you can have it like that too as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna replace this one as well. If you guys are enjoying this video at all, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. Let's get back straight to the video. And now, if you look at this now, you can see that both cameras are in the same orientation. I can have it pointed down. I can have it like that. I can have it like that. And it's not going anywhere. Right now it's not locked, so I can easily just do like that and lift it up. But once I lock it down, not going anywhere. And I can just slide, just, just, just slide this up slightly and take it out. But once it's down, it's locked in. It's not going to go anywhere. 
And I like this because it's metal, and I know that friction and, and this is not going to happen. So there's no, not, not going to be any kind of deterioration in this metal right here, because this is a solid, solid, solid metal. And I'm really liking how it looks, guys. You guys let me, let me know what you guys think. You can have your shirt like this. When I had the other one, which is this here, it goes on my belt all the way up here and put it on. Might look a little ridiculous right now, guys, but I'm just doing it for demonstration purpose so you guys can have a feel for yourself. So when I had this one here, like so, it was all the way up top up here and my shirt was like that. I really like in this more because it's all the way down here and it's a little bit more comfortable, just like that. And usually, especially if I'm doing weddings, I have my jacket on, on me, so my jacket is kinda like, you know, hanging down. And this having it down here a little bit, I like that. And like I said, there is an adjustment right here, as you can see, right there, I can adjust this tighter if I want. But right now, it is so tight and comfy, I'm not even feeling. So if you guys can look, Around, you'll see what it looks like in the back. You can see what it looks like in the back, all right? And my, I, think, I don't think my pants is like really tight right now. So let me adjust my pants. Good, and now I'm good. As you can see, right there, in the front, right there. And I'm really loving this, guys. And like I said, this, let me remove this so it's not confusing you guys. So this, Right now, let's take this out, is so much bigger and so much sturdier. And I love this because now you don't have to worry about over time your, your, your camera's kind of uh, causing friction onto your pants or even reducing the lens. But so far, I haven't had any issues. I'm not really thinking about that, but I just love the belt because it allows me to put it a little bit lower than the, the, the belt on my pants. So I'm definitely loving, loving that, guys. So guys, let me know what you guys think of this. Where do you want to use the belt or you want to use the actual clips here that goes onto your belt? Let me know what you guys think. I'm still using this system, um, but I know that for me, I guess on wedding days, I definitely would love this a little bit more. On an engagement shoot, I'm fine with this. But because wedding days are much of a longer day and I know I'm gonna do a lot of movement, if I have my jacket on, for example, I know that this, having it on my belt, in the, on the, the clip on my belt, is gonna cause a, a little bit of, um, you know, disturbance in me moving a little bit faster. That's one thing I've noticed. But so far with this, I think this is gonna be a better option because it is below the height of my actual belt on my pants. And I'm definitely loving that. So, and this feels so good. So good, guys. So, like I mentioned before, guys, you can definitely use these if you want. If you have one camera, you're, you're, you're good with this. I wish that when they did a design, they did a design where you can have it both left and right of the camera. Right now, you don't have it on the right side of the camera, which I don't really like because, it, like, like someone said in the comment section, your orientation of the camera is gonna be looking different. But right now, I'm loving this right here. I don't have to wear jeans, I can wear my sweats, whatever it is, and this is going to be locked on. This is not going to go anywhere, because even if I press this by mistake, something I snag this by mistake, I don't have to worry whether or not this is going to fall off or not. So let me know, guys, in the comment section below what you guys think of this system. I'm definitely liking it so far. I'm, I'm looking forward, because I'm waiting on the weekend coming, so I'm definitely going to be using this. Let me know what you guys think, whether you're going to go for the clip that goes onto the belt, or you would be interested in getting the actual belt um, itself. So like I mentioned before, guys, links will be in the description below for each of these items here. So it will definitely help the channel out if you guys actually use the link to purchase these, um, these items, and I really appreciate you guys. So like I said, guys, before, let me know what you think in the description below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.